Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan. So this is starting to become, unfortunately, a regular segment on our show. Videos about pandemics arising in the world that are due directly to animal agriculture. My first one this year was back in the spring when I made this video about the then not too widespread coronavirus and how its most likely origins are in wet markets in China. And it was not just a week ago when I made this video about swine flu also arising in pig farming in China. And now this week we're hearing about some cases being reported in Mongolia about the bubonic plague being a new potential pandemic that we need to worry about. Yes, the bubonic plague, the one that wiped out approximately one third of Europe's population back in the Middle Ages. So here's some of the basics from CNN. They say that authorities in the Chinese region of Inner Mongolia are on high alert after a suspected case of bubonic plague. The disease that caused the Black Death pandemic was reported on Sunday. It said a um, hospital alerted municipal authorities of the patient's case Saturday. By Sunday, it got so serious that local authorities had issued a citywide level three warning for the plague's prevention. And the warning will stay in place until the end of the year. These city officials say at present there is a risk of human plague epidemic spreading in their cities. So they want to take actions to minimize the risk of human to human transmission, which could eventually potentially lead to a global pandemic. And they have several measures in place to help this prevent this from happening. And chiefly, as we'll see, yeah, no surprise, this has to do with animals, eating and hunting animals. So they're recommending that people refrain from hunting and eating certain, certain animals that could cause infection. Specifically, authorities warn the public to report findings of dead or sick marmots, which are a type of large ground squirrel that is eaten in some parts of China and the neighboring country, Mongolia, and which have historically caused plague outbreaks in the region. For example, the marmot is believed to have caused the 1911 pneumonic plague epidemic, which killed about 63,000 people in northeastern China. It was hunted for its fur, and the diseased fur products were traded and transported around the country, infecting thousands along the way. So even though this 1911 epidemic was contained within a year, marmot-related plague infections have persisted since then. As recently as a week ago, two brothers in Mongolia were confirmed for having bubonic plague after having eaten marmot meat. And as recently as last year, a couple in Mongolia died after having eaten raw marmot kidney. So now this brings us to 2020, where we're dealing with a current pandemic, coronavirus, which most likely has animal agriculture origins, and we're looking at a potential new swine flu, and now the return of the bubonic plague. And all of these have in common, people are eating and raising animals, killing animals needlessly. I've made, I don't know how many, dozens, perhaps hundreds of videos here on YouTube or the, over the past six or seven years discussing the horrible effects that animal agriculture has had on our planet, is having on our planet. Most people are blissfully unaware that the majority of greenhouse gas emissions are due to animal agriculture. And this is more than all of transportation combined. Most people are blissfully unaware that 90% of the Amazon rainforest destruction is due to animal agriculture. Animal agriculture is destroying our planet. The United Nations has pretty much said as much and in fact recommended vegan and vegetarian diets to be the most climate friendly. But now we have yet another problem that animal agriculture and our obsession with eating animals is causing. And it's these pandemics. And the United Nations has warned that pandemics can become more frequent, more so than one per hundred years as we've experienced here recently. So why in the hell are people still eating animals is my big question to you. What is so important to you about eating animals that it's worth all this risk? We're destroying our planet. Who knows how many decades we have left for, of living in a more more or less habitable planet. And now we, on top of dealing with planning for climate change, we as a species have to endure pandemics on a more regular basis as it seems here. They're economically devastating, not to mention the loss of life. Why are we still eating animals for? Can someone please explain to me in the comments why it's so worth it? Because it's absolutely needless. We're destroying the planet needlessly. We're needlessly killing billions of animals every year. Yes, billions of animals that don't need to die. We can just live off plants and we could end starvation because all the land that's being devoted to animal agriculture, if we use that for raising food for 
we're humans, instead of having a middle creature eat the plants that we in turn eat, we could solve world hunger. It's just absolutely pointless that people are still eating animals. Why are we putting the health of our planet at risk and the health of ourselves at risk with all these potential and actual pandemics that arise from animal agriculture? And some of you might be saying, well, you know, it's not the way um, I don't eat like the people in China do. I'm buying my food here in the United States. Well, factory farming is, is not exempt from this. In fact, factory farms have been shown to be a perfect breeding ground for pandemics. Don't believe me? Well, H1N1 swine flu and H5N1 bird flu, those viruses evolved on chicken and pig factory farms. Genetic analysis have shown that crucial components of H1N1 emerged from a virus circulating in North American pigs. And if you need yet another reason to give up eating meat, COVID-19 is spreading like wildfire amongst slaughterhouse factory workers. So everyone's losing by people continually eating meat. People are losing, animals are losing, our environment's losing, our planet is losing, our economies are losing. It's really a, a complete lose, 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 lose situation by eating meat. And going vegan on the flip side is, is a win, win, win. It's a win for the environment, it's a win for the slaughterhouse workers, it's a win for our health, and it's a win that these pandemics won't needlessly arise. There has never been a pandemic that was traced back to kale farming or any kind of plant farming. So please, I urge you, now in 2020 is the perfect time to go vegan. There's so many great vegan foods. If you must like say, I, I could never give up hamburgers. Well, there's great vegan hamburgers. There's great vegan ice cream, great vegan cheese, butter, whatever you name it right now in 2020, a, a very delicious and affordable vegan option exists for you. So there's absolutely no reason to not be vegan right now. There's every reason to be vegan. So anyway, leave your questions and comments down below below share with me reasons why you still haven't gone vegan if you're still watching let me know and I'll try to answer them you know you might have some you know questions that I get asked frequently and I can help you out with them down below so please let me know why you're not vegan right now in 2020 do you not care about any of these issues that I brought up which blows my mind because these are existential issues that affect every one of us here so hit like on this video share it until next time guys let's keep it carved Round